start by telling you some important two marks questions the one marks questions are also there from this chapter and this chapter is itself very very important so you need to take care of the one marks questions but if i feel some specific one mark important questions then i would surely tell you in uh, maybe this video or in the upcoming videos so diversity in living organisms two marks questions so the first thing first important question is need for classification so now need for classification is one such question which can either come in one mark or two mark right so it's basic uh, thing of this chapter so you need to uh, know what's the need it's mentioned in the first page of your chapter itself then the second thing there are many differences from this chapter so i would tell you them uh, difference between advanced and primitive organisms so this is very very important question so you need to uh, know about the examples so in one mark question the examples can be separately asked like what are the examples of advanced organisms and primitive organisms so this can be asked in one mark question also so difference form you need to know after that is difference between gymnosperms and angiosperms mark this very very important this can either come in two marks or three marks and this question can also come separately like what are the characteristics of gymnosperms and angios angiosperms or characteristics or features of angiosperms or gymnosperms so this question is very very important it can come in any form please do remember the examples of each and everything in this chapter so moving to the next thing it is the features of vertebrates now vertebrate uh, features of vertebrates either come in two marks or three marks so uh, question on vertebrates is uh, seen mostly so prepare the vertebrates very well all its types and the classification after that specific na uh, sorry scientific names so scientific names are another important concept from this chapter so the basic are written over here humans like homo sapiens they are called tiger potato butterfly pea etc now etc here means easy ones you just have to learn easy ones you don't have to cram each and every scientific name because they don't come in exam like simply humans the uh, scientific name of humans can be asked tiger can be asked now if you see in the paper written like this right the technical name of human so technical name is same as scientific name so don't be confused so learn scientific names only of the easy only that are easy don't cram the difficult ones they would not definitely they would not come in the exam after that define saprophytes so saprophytes are another important thing from uh, this chapter the definition can be seen in two marks so examples also you need to uh, give while writing the answer of this question after that hierarchy of classification now another important thing and from here the question can be asked on phylum and division now division is for plants right and for phy uh, phylum is for animals so this question can be asked in one mark take care of this thing now moving on to the three marks question so from this chapter basically the three marks questions are uh, difference based so so the first important difference is difference between polyphyla and cylindrate so uh, make sure you know the features as well because definitely the question can be molded and can be maybe directly asked also like um, what are the characteristics of polyphyla animals like this and then annelids and arthropods the other important questions uh, these are all different ways right then amphibians and reptiles mark this as very very important because this is mostly seen in the question papers so amphibians and reptiles very important question then apes and mammalian another important thing now this is another important question mark this as important importance or advantages of classification so it can be asked like what are the what is the importance of classification uh, as i told you earlier what is the need of classification or it can be asked what are the uh, right some advantages of classification so these both three questions you need to uh, know very well 
then is the criteria for grouping five king uh, for grouping the animals in five kingdom classification so most of the children generally ignore this question and this question they get a huge shock when they see this question in the exam so make sure you don't make such mistake and prepare this question before hand uh, after that definitions like i told saprophytes are important so similarly diploblastic bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and coelom these are all important definitions from this chapter so um basically bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic these two are the most important the others other ones can also be asked to you after that the difference between monocots and dicots another important thing they can also be written as monocotyledons and dicotyledons so make sure you know the uh, both the forms very well both are same but just the uh, slight change in their name is there so difference between monocots and dicots is very very important ninth thing which is important in th three marks is basis of classification of kingdom plantae and kingdom animalia so another important question which we all ignore uh, like this criteria for five kingdom classification similarly criteria for uh, kingdom plantae and animalia classification so don't ignore this question it's very important then the question can sometimes be written like this is such this is just an example this tenth one is just an example it's written note on amphibians of plant kingdom so basically what are amphibians of plant kingdom they are bryophyta so this basically question means that write a note on bryophyta the next important question is vertebrates and invertebrates the difference can come or they can be asked separately as well so do learn the examples so examples are very important after that the last important concept is nomenclature so some uh, question can be asked from here so read this paragraph carefully which is written in the last page of the chapter in the book so these were all the important questions from this chapter i hope you all liked this video and if you did then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel to watch more such videos i would be back soon with another video and you can also tell me in the comment section for which chapter you need the next video and i would definitely make it as soon as possible so thank you and i will see you all in the next one bye bye